Reading up on one of the biggest challenges he'll ever face, climbing the tallest freestanding mountain on Earth, Mount Kilimanjaro. But this won't be the first hurdle Marcus Kilpatrick from Norwich has overcome. He was a mechanic in the army for around 12 years and served in Afghanistan in 2006. But after coming home and seeing his relationship break down, he was left homeless in London with only his car for shelter. The lowest point was um, sort of leaving the forces and then becoming um, unemployed and then becoming homeless. You do feel very, very alone. I guess I was kind of thinking quite selfishly back then. You know, it was it was all about me trying to um, trying to survive just myself, really. Um, but to now, you know, be married and be, have all these things that I've got, um, it, it kind of makes you stop and think as well about the stuff we have got and the people that don't have it. Marcus was taken in by a good Samaritan and after his story featured in a national newspaper, he was offered a room and managed to find a job. Then he transformed his life, becoming a Christian, buying a home in Norwich and getting married. And now he's giving something back by climbing the 15,000 foot high mountain for Christian aid to raise money for refugees. They put the money into kind of tangible projects where they, they will buy um, kind of sustainability so that they buy um, animals, they um, use the money for bringing fresh water to, to, to communities. So rather than just giving them uh, a batch of food, they give them the ability to um, grow their own food. This challenge is no easy feat. It's the biggest mountain in Africa and temperatures can drop down to minus 25 degrees at night. There's also half the amount of oxygen up there than at sea level. I won't be climbing to the top of Kilimanjaro on my own. I'll be with a group, um, but there'll be a group of strangers, um, which, yeah, I'm hoping you know, that we get, get to know each other very quickly and, and can produce the same sort of uh, comradeship while going up the mountain. I think, you know, with the right mindset, that... Um, Nothing's going to stop me. Marcus, who'll be taking on terrain a bit more challenging than the Norwich Parks, where he's been training, sets off on his journey in September, and it should take eight days to complete. He's hoping to raise £10,000 for charity, putting his best foot forward for a cause very close to his heart. Christina Brinkley, Mustard TV, Norwich.